sometimes in life, we all want something that's maybe a little bit unattainable, like a kajillion dollars, or maybe a high paying job, or maybe lower gas prices. And we'll all hustle and bustle and maybe get a little aggravated at the end of the day with all the trials and tribulations that come with everyday life. But the most important thing we can all do, I really think, is just looking at the things we do have and appreciate those things. Because you never know when they might be gone. I mean, just look at the thing in Spidey. They've learned to appreciate each other in more than a few ways. And because I know you clicked on this video because of the thumbnail, yes, they do do the thing. And because I'm just like y'all and I don't like to listen to yapping to fill up time just for some extra ad revenue, I'm just gonna get right to it and tell you the story of why this happened in the first place. So let's begin. We start this story with Peter Parker trying to catch the subway, quoting Eminem's Lose Yourself, which kind of goes hand in hand with the theme of this comic. Okay, Parker, you only need to get one shot at this. One opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. One moment, you own it. You better never let it go. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime, yo. Wait, that's Eminem, isn't it? I hope it's Eminem. If it's not, then I've started putting yo on the end of my sentences. Next thing you know, I'll be saying shizzle and niggity, and then Aunt May will bust a cap in my... The train! Please, people in New York show that warm heart I know and love. Have mercy. Let me on that train. I fought Thanos the Mad Titan once, you know. Upon reaching one of the subway carts, Peter tries to enter. However, two very disgruntled women refuse to let Peter in, opting to instead bully the guy for trying to get to the Daily Bugle because they believe newspapers are obsolete for some reason. As they push Peter out just in time for the subway cart to speed off, Peter then hits himself on the head stating that that'll teach him to try and save money on web fluid. With no other choice, he leaves the subway and suits up to swing across New York, asking the question if anyone hates New York as much as he does at this moment. Which brings us to the thing surrounded by dozens of kids wishing he could be doing anything else rather than babysitting Franklin and Valeria for the whole day in Midtown. While complaining, Franklin jumps on his uncle's shoulders saying he wouldn't say stuff like this if Spidey were around, to which the thing says that if Spidey were around, he'd demand his 30 bucks back from the guy. In the middle of talking, a boy almost finds out if the thing has a thing between his legs, and this angers the thing, leading him to ask what kind of game the kid is playing at. But the kid just says that he was trying to find the price tag because he wants his shorts. The the thing then begs for any villain like Doctor Doom or Galactus or even Ryan Seacrest to show up so he can have an excuse to leave. Meanwhile, somewhere in Central Park, two brothers are trying to find valuables using metal detectors to sell off for some quick cash. They've been at it for hours, astounded that they haven't found anything let alone alien tech or whatever, given that superheroes fight at the park every other week. But if they were to find some super tech, it'd make them rich beyond their wildest dreams. And sure enough, while they are waving around those metal detectors, they go off like crazy on one particular spot. Digging around, they find some sort of alien device. The older brother picks it up and starts fidgeting with the device, while the little brother is a little worried about what the thing can do. After the older brother ends up pressing it a bunch of times, a couple from far behind start scrapping with each other out of nowhere. But because the pair don't notice, they both think that the thing just doesn't work. And as they're both walking away, everyone in Central Park is fighting each other. Half an hour later, the brothers catch a taxi thinking about the device while Spidey swings overhead. While they're oblivious to the havoc around them, the older brother thinks he should just quit trying to do these get-rich-quick schemes and just get a 9-to-5. He just does all these things because he wanted one big score so he could pay for his little brother's surgery. But the little brother hearing his older brother being all thoughtful, he thinks he's just high or something. Until WHAM! They get hit with a little whiplash. Getting out of the taxi to collect themselves, they look all around them to find everyone either fighting or destroying stuff. Everyone except for them. And the older brother realizes it's the device causing all of this mayhem, so he instantly wants to sell it as fast as possible. So the older brother calls up a contact, telling the guy that he has a device that can allow you to pull off any heist, any time, and he wants two million dollars. Spidey then swings onto the scene, remarking that everyone's fighting, and that he suddenly has an urge to hit JJ in the face. It's a weekday, or a weekend. Still, the fact that everyone in Manhattan's gone all thrill in Manila may mean something evil's transpiring. Although it was bound to happen sooner or later, let's face facts. People of New York, stop attacking each other, I beseech thee. Let us all come together as one, and maybe go fight Boston instead. Everything begins to happen so fast from here, when the brothers steal a taxi using the device, while Spidey tries webbing up the people fighting, resisting the urge to literally punch their jaws off. Until he's sucker punched by some thing. You owe me 30 bucks from our last poker game, you cheating, wall crawling bum. Oh, hey. 
Strangely angry, Ben. You know, I thought I picked up a hint of tension at our last game. I figured that was Logan taking that extra slice of pizza. Turns out I was wrong. Boy, talk about elephant in the room. It's moderately awkward telling a berserker killing machine with big snakey claws that he just ate anchovies when his was the spicy beef. Anyway, it was huge fun feeling weirdly violent towards you, but I have a suspicious cab to catch. Rabbit punch Johnny for me when you see him? Yeah? Ty reads out of the bedpost while he's asleep, and then set off the negative zone alarm. After walloping on the thing, Valeria and Franklin explain to Spidey that there's a device making everyone hella mad, being controlled by two guys that rolled out in a stolen taxi, adding that if he hits their uncle again, they'll hurt him back. So Spidey promptly swings off to chase the taxi while the three of them still want a piece of Spidey. Cutting back to the brothers, they are speeding off to the meetup, but the little brother is starting to take notice that they are hurting others, telling his older brother that this isn't them and they need to stop before it goes too far. But the older brother doesn't listen and puts pushes his little brother out of the car, driving off shouting that he can forget about the operation he was gonna pay for. Eventually, the older brother reaches the meetup shouting frantically that he has the device so the buyer brings the money and the top dog, to which the older brother enters the warehouse to quite literally a villain named the top dog, demanding to know what he has before he sets his dogs on him. So the older brother nervously says that he has a device that makes people angry and turn people violent, so he'd like two mil for it. But because he forgot to turn off the device, everyone in the warehouse starts to fight each other. And to make matters even worse, the thing along with Spidey crash into the warehouse as they bicker about $30 owed. The older brother scared out of his mind starts pressing all the buttons to turn off the device. So frustrated, he throws it on the ground and everything in the warehouse takes a complete tonal shift instantly. From hatred to love. And my god, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Woods, I'm so sorry I pounded you. Don't be. It was my fault. You know. I think the world of you. That's mutual. Oh, come here and give us a kiss, you big goofball. It's slobbering time. Neato. <laughs> Snuggle puggles. Uh, Mr. Thing? Yeah, kid. You couldn't smash this box for me, could you? Sure thing. <laughs> After smashing the device, the thing gets ready to fight the top dog while Spidey vomits after doing what they did, promising each other to never speak of this ever again. After which Spidey swings off to check on Franklin and Valeria, to which they tell Spidey that the brothers ran off towards the river, but they kinda did save the day. Later the little brother says that he can't believe his older brother left two million dollars on the floor after all that trouble. That money could have changed their lives forever, to which the older brother says that that's always been the difference between the two of them because he kind of likes what he's already got. Ending the comic off, telling us that no matter how cynical the world may be, a little bit of love and kindness and sacrifice can make you appreciate what you already have. For me, this is quite a small, funny little story that always cheers me up when I'm having a tough time, and I thought I'd just share it with y'all to lift your spirits in the case that you may have needed it yourself. I also want to say thank you all for 400k subscribers. It truly means the world to me that 400k of y'all have thought of my content as worthy enough to subscribe to. And when I think about it myself, it's unbelievable, because as a kid, buying an Elgato game capture from my Lenovo laptop having literally no idea how to do anything but just having a simple dream of being a YouTuber one day, that it would just happen a decade and some change later. It's so crazy, and not only do I want to thank you all for watching my content for almost a year and a half, but I also want to thank the people in my life who have kept me grounded and always believed that I could do this. You know who you are. And I want to thank my cats. They get me through a lot of dark times in my life when I feel like I'm not enough or I become a little too mean-spirited. And having them around like this story makes me appreciate what I have and what the future will eventually bring. So with that, like always, thank you for 400k. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And as always, I'll catch y'all on the flip side.